What is up everybody? How's it going? Welcome to the Ecom Hunt YouTube channel. My name is Sherban and in this video I'm going to teach you how to correctly test products. You heard the accent, right? You see this all over the internet when it comes to drop shipping, to online business, to anything related to selling something online, you hear the term testing products. That's the main cornerstone of, of any e-commerce business. But nobody tells you how to correctly test products. That's, that's something really important that you should know before, uh, before heading down the road. So this is what we're going to talk about in this video. Let's begin. You always hear the sentence, test until you find a winner. Well, that's basically true, mainly because this is how does a dropshipping store work like, or as a matter of fact, any uh, e-commerce store. You're testing a product and you're testing another product, and you're testing another one, and you repeat this until you find something that works for you. You find a winner product. What's a winner product? A product that the audience is responding well to. You're getting good feedback, good comments, good sales, so on and so forth. That's a winner product. And you have to test a lot of products, or even if you're lucky, uh, you can find the first product that you're testing to be a winner. I don't know, this happens a lot, but this is what everybody is hunting after. But testing is no joking matter. You gotta know how to correctly test. You know, you gotta know how to do it correctly. You don't wanna waste money because if you don't test correctly, you're gonna waste a lot of money and that money could be put to better use. For example, we could put that money into testing other products so we don't, uh, so we don't lose that money. First of all, keep your ad creatives as clean and simple as possible. This is even before we get into testing details and targeting and all that, you must have a nice ad because that's the first thing that the potential customer sees. They see your ad. They are scrolling on Facebook, on Instagram, on whatever, and they see a picture of something, which is your product, and they are going to click on it if, if they want to buy that product, if they are attracted by it. You know, nobody wants to see something complicated, something ugly, something over overly complicated nobody wants to see that keep it simple just show them the product show them maybe the price use some nice colors don't over complicate it keep it simple and if the person is interested in that product they will click on your ad you know if your ad is clean and simple then you are using that ad at its fullest potential and you're making sure that there are no people who might be interested in your ad that would not click on it so you might be wondering, how can I know if people are attracted to my ad? How can I find that out? It's really simple. CTR. The answer is click-through rate. It's a really powerful indicator that will show us how many people have clicked on our ad from every 100 people that saw the ad. That's the best, like the rawest indicator that you can find out if people are attracted to our ad. How many people have clicked on the ad, right? That's, that's showing interest. So if you're getting a click-through rate of 2%, it means that from every 100 people that visit that saw your ad, two of them clicked and wanted to see what you're selling. Uh, as a matter of fact, 2%, it's a decent, it's a good click-through rate. If you're getting a 2% or bigger click-through rate, it means that you're in a good place, that uh, your ad is beautiful and people are reacting accordingly to it. If you're getting a click-through rate smaller than 1%, you're not in a good place and you might want to change a few things. Let's move on to the next step where we are talking about uh, multiple creatives. You don't want to only test one creative. You don't know if that's your fullest potential. You might get good results with one creative, but you don't know if, you're, if you don't test multiple creatives, you will never know the full potential of your ad. So make sure to split this between creatives and, and use different colors, use different position of the product because you don't know uh, how people are reacting to different uh, position of the product to different colors and so on and so forth. If you're having a uh, blue background of the product, you might get uh, more clicks than if you would have a red background for the product. You never know. These things you can only find. Uh, you can only find these things out when you test multiple creatives. Number three, always start with small budgets, right? You don't want to waste a lot of money when you're getting started out. That's the whole purpose of drop shipping. You're you're starting drop shipping because you don't have tens of thousands of dollars to buy stock, right? So you want to start small. Start with five to seven dollars per ad set per day and that's gonna be more than enough for you to find out if an ad set has potential or not, right? You don't want to waste one hundred dollars per day because you don't want to throw your money on the window on a potentially bad ad set. 
because you might do something wrong on your ad set, your uh, targeting might be off, uh, your uh, creative might be ugly, so on and so forth. You don't want to set a big budget because you're going to burn the money away and you're going to uh, you're, you're gonna be left with nothing at the end of all. So this is why you have to start with small budgets. Number four, test multiple interest combinations. Uh, this is the same as number two, test multiple creatives. You gotta do the same thing with interests. You don't wanna only test one single interest because uh, there's a lot of people left out. You're targeting these people, but around those are a lot of people that are not being targeted. So you wanna have a lot of interest that you will split test and you want to know which of them are responding uh, better to your ads. There are people that will respond really nice to your ads, you will have big uh, click-through rates and there are people that will not respond good to your ads. So you know that that interest is not to be targeted in the future for that product, right? This is the only way to know which interest to target by split testing multiple interest combination. Number five, don't only test one single ad set. You might be wondering why. Well, the answer is really simple. If you wanna know if something is good or bad, you gotta know how to compare it with something that's similar to that thing. In our case, ad sets. So if you wanna know if an ad set is good, you gotta know how to compare it with other ad sets. Otherwise, you will not be able to know if it's performing good or bad. So uh, you. With only one ad set, you're not getting enough data to analyze it and to know if it's good or not. This is why I recommend you to use between 3 and 10 ad sets for one campaign. On an average, you could use 5. It depends on your budget. But if you use between 3 and 10 ad sets, you have comparison. You have variety. You will have a, a lot of ad sets to compare between them and to know which one is performing good and duplicate it and kill the ones that do not perform really good. And uh, this is a, a, a really good uh, secret that you should use when testing ad sets. Use multiple ad sets. Don't only use one. Duplicate it eight times, five times, ten times. Depends on your budget. Use different interests. Use different targeting, different ad creatives. Because this is the only way that you can compare them and know which one is doing good. Step number six, which is, I would say, the most important one in this video. Kill the underperforming ad sets early on. What do I mean by this? Well, if you're following us for some time, you know that I put a really big accent on this and I, I want you to learn how to spot when something is wrong with your ad set. I want you to be like a doctor, you know, do a diagnose on your ad set and see if something is wrong and act quickly. I have showed you in the past video what is the CPM, what's the cost per click, what's the CTR, ROAS, relevance score, so on and so forth. These are crucial indicators that show our ad set's health. It shows us how our ad set is performing. So for example, if you're launching an ad set and uh, after three hours you see that in one of the ad sets the CPM is $40 you know that something is really off in that ad set. Something is not good and you gotta stop it as quick as possible. This is what I'm referring to uh, when I say kill the underperforming ad sets early on. When you see that after two or three hours of launching, you have a huge CPM or I don't know, cost per click of uh, three, four dollars, two dollars. Something is not good. You gotta know how to kill it quickly, spot on. And this way you're saving, my friend, you're saving yourselves a lot of money. You don't want to waste money. You don't want to throw money on the window because that money can be put to better use. You can use that money to test other products and, or to focus your attention on winning ad sets. This is what I refer to uh, in this point, killing the underperforming ad sets early on. Go to my past videos, check out the crucial indicators that you should follow to know if your ad is delivering good or not and if it's in, in right parameters and uh, use those when testing products. This is a crucial skill that you should learn to kill the underperforming ads. And this takes us to step number seven. Repeat all over again everything that I have taught you in this video from step one until step number six. Rinse and repeat, in other words. Big numbers don't appear out of the blue. You're not getting $1,000 day sales out of, out of the blue. You have to make them appear. You, we have to make those numbers, right? They, they don't come to us, we gotta go to them. 
If a campaign is not giving you the desired results after following all of these steps, don't worry, my friend, that, that's not the end of the world. We are targeting humans. We are not targeting robots, right? We just have to look at the numbers. If they are good, we are duplicating the ad sets. We are taking the right decisions at the right times. If something is not good, we're going to kill that ad set as fast as possible. If something is good, we're going to duplicate it. We're going to put more attention into it. Basically, we're keeping our losses short. That's it. This is the whole secret of testing products. If it doesn't work out for the first product, it, it's, it doesn't state anywhere that you will get millions of dollars from the first product that you're testing. That's the difference between a winner product and a product that's not a winner. Uh, you got to know how to test them. If something is not working from the first try, make sure to repeat everything you have learned with another product. It's not the end of the world. Test a lot of products and the more pro products you're testing, uh, the more steps ahead you are in front of your competition and eventually you're gonna find a product that will work for you. So guys, now you know everything there is to know to get your first dropshipping sales. That's amazing. And the good news is that you can apply this exact same rules and exact same logic that I've taught you in this video to make 1,000 sales every day. Nothing will stop you. Only one thing stands between you and success. Finding the right product. It doesn't matter if you know how to spot a good and a winning ad set if, you, if you're not promoting the right product, right? So this is what I'm going to show you today, this amazing platform that will give you daily winning products. What's a winning product? A winning product is a product that's making waves on the market, people are buying them like crazy and dropshippers make thousands over thousands of dollars with these products. They are the winning products. So this platform uh, will give you two to three winning products every day. We have a wonderful team that searches for these products. We're going to see what products are making waves on the market and we are going to give them away to you. So you will not have to worry about what products to sell. You only have to worry about uh, your website, your ads and make everything look nice and clean. We're going to worry about your products, right? Click the link on the description. It's the first link. You're going to be amazed, right? Let me give you an example. Uh, let's say this uh, pancake maker. Click on the green button and you will see everything you need to know about it. You will find pictures of it. You will have a button that once you click it will import everything on your store. Nothing. Only one click and boom you have the product on your store. You can sell it. Uh, next up we have uh, profit margin. We have the average selling price. Really important we have a saturation inspector which shows you how many stores are actually selling this particular product. This is a good indicator for uh, to know if the market is hot and how many stores are selling it. Uh, you can see some analytics here. You can see how many people are talking about the product. You can see a YouTube video of the product. This is how a Facebook targeting should look like. These are the interests. So we're giving you everything you need to know to promote this product, right? These are the interests. You have some Instagram influencers. Uh, you're having some uh, real buyer reviews from AliExpress, so on and so forth. It's amazing. You will have some buttons here where you can see where can you get the product from. For example, if you click on the AliExpress button, it will take you to the AliExpress uh, page that sells this particular product. And you can just get it from there. You can, you can see a lot of information about the product. You can see... Uh, for example, this particular buyer have is sold more than 1,200 orders of this pancake maker, right? You can click on uh, on the Alibaba button too, on Amazon button too, on eBay button. You will find this product on, on lots of sources and you can take it for from whatever source you want. So click the link in the description. Again, this is only one product. We're giving you two to three products every day. So there's a lot of pro there are a lot of products where you can choose from. And uh, this is a really amazing platform that will make your life really, really easy. We're going to give you winning products on a tray. You just have to copy everything you see here and put them on your store with only one click. That was everything for today. If you're going to follow all of these steps that I showed you in this uh, video, you're going to get your first sales as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you want to 
if you want to get videos like this on a weekly basis. Uh, thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye-bye.